Hello everybody, Cherry Pie here and welcome to my very first let's play on this channel Life is Strange um, I know I am pretty late on playing that so um, yeah don't judge me I know the game is already um, four episodes in or something but uh, I only know the first episode I played the first episode already, but I managed to stay clear of all spoilers concerning everything after the first episode. Um, so, yeah. I think... Da -da -da. I'll just check the options for a second. Okay, that is way too loud. Let's get this like that. That okay, that looks good. Back, 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 blah blah back. Okay, new game. Okay, so without further ado, let's get this show on the road, huh? Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice, the consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present and future. Choose wisely. Okay then. So that's us, that's me, Max Caulfield is her name, um, yeah, and that's basically everything I can say to her about now. Uh, we will get to know her better later on, uh, yeah, now let's get through this uh, horrible, horrible, nightmarish world ending apocalyptic storm. Okay. famously called film little pieces of time but he could be talking about photography as he likely was okay i'm in class everything's cool i am okay calm down to okay. shadow from color to chiaroscuro now can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in i didn't fall asleep and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream Bueller. weird Diane Arbus. There okay, you go, so Victoria. we had a. Why Arbus? I don't know. A nightmare, of of which faces. didn't feel like a dream. You feel like totally haunted Very by real, the eyes of whatever. those sad mothers and um, children. Um, yeah, and we she saw are in class. She's tortured, right? In and a frankly, it's photography bullshit. arts class shh, shh, shh. or something. Keep that to yourself. Okay. Seriously, With our though, classmates I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Devilish handsome a moment of young desperation. Um, and any one of you could yeah, do that to me. Let me look at this. Isn't that too easy? Okay. Too often. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Okay. I think it's not that bad, but whatever. 
Okay. Obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height okay, there's of their more beauty or innocence? I do love my analog camera. So, I should take a quick picture now. Approach. Okay. Hold I have on, to honey. admit, I'm not a big fan of her I work. can't believe I still have this I pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Me too. Why? But I like it old school. It yeah, the it's cute. Post-war beat America. I and haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Okay, uh, but we are in the struggle. going into you the reading of this journal beat, later. I don't want to start the first why Frank was episode of this Let's Play muse. only reading. And both were the great chroniclers uh, so let, of the let me take a selfie. We've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Catch. Shame. Shame. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. <laughs> a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of oh, course, as you all you. know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> the point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please clearly. tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <sighs> like I know that. I did know. But I kind of <laughs> forgot. Sure. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> Very the daguerrean good. process yeah. brought out fine detail in people's faces. Making them extremely Sorry, Max. No more selfies adult. right now. The first American daguerreotype okay. self-portrait was done by Robert Fine. Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or <laughs> even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Uh, okay. So. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Why would she? I mean, huh? Okay, look at that. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Uh-huh. I have no idea what she just said. Okay, then. Let's look at that. No. So. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Oh, yeah. I know those kind of people. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I can just use her iPad or whatever. I that should is. have known. She'll have better Tablet. equipment than Blackwell. Okay. Uh, let's not read that. I have no, I have no idea anyway about that shit. Okay, so let's check out the computer first. Oh. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. <laughs> Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, I have no idea. Let's look at this little paper ball. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. XOXO Blackwell Academy. Okay, so Kate is that one over here. She looks really sad. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. And she doesn't look like she's into porn. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. 
You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Mm. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Okay then. Let's check out what what's that. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Okay. If you want, then do it. Hi, Henry. My uh, dog just came in and visited me. <laughs> and apparently he needs to cuff. <laughs> okay, honey. Go drink something. Okay. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Okay. What's that? This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. <laughs> oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? <laughs> what? She's so funny. Okay, look at the books. So cool that we can check these out anytime. Okay. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson. That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith. Good to see Avedon among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. I guess. Uh, so yeah, I try to check out everything because, uh, yeah, I... Uh, don't want to miss anything, so you have to endure my, I don't know, snooping around and looking at everything throughout this Let's Play. Uh, yeah, you can do it. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Well, it's nice. Looks beautiful. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He <laughs> probably paid not. 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Yeah, why not? She's cute. She, it. I tend to personify things. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Hmm. So we could check out the TV. Okay. Man, he even has the best plasma HD TV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. <laughs> Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Infamy? Well, he thinks you have talent, so why wouldn't he? want you to enter. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Hmm, looks like she has a crush on him. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture <laughs> you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? <laughs> but you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. Okay, so uh, there's the door. We can go out in the hallway. But uh, I think we are going to do that in the next part. And we are going to 
take a break here and uh, I'll go check on my dog. And yeah, until next time, guys.